Okay, so I am going to show you how you can use your Figma um, MCP server, which is this right here. Um, so this is the Figma MCP server um, from Framelink to go ahead and generate to-do lists and clog code so you have structured projects, I mean, structured um, a structured way of knowing how to complete um, your UI deliverables um, in Cloud Code. So I've already created to-do lists from my Figma files and um, for my landing page and my about page. So I am going to go to the history page. Uh, and what, I, what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, copy the link, just like it says in the link to se selection. So what I'm going to do, if I come up here and let me show you what I what I did so far. So um, I gave it instructions. So first and foremost, I wanted to see if it worked. So um, so I asked it. Um, can you read this Figma file? And um, and so I gave it my landing page and he says, I, I, I'll help you extract the Figma file. So it already had the MCP server in there. So it went too deep into it. So it was too large. So it, um, it went without going too deep into the hierarchy. And then it was able to read the landing page and it can see the desktop landing page and then um, it can see the structure of the landing page and all that. And this uh, is a comprehend. It you know gives you all the stuff. So what I told it to do is that I wanted you to read. I wanted to read all of my Figma files without going too deep into the hierarchy. And then I said, it, let's start with the rest of the landing page, the mobile, the tablet, and the mobile design. And I key. I said I I told it to think harder so that I could have it turn on. Um, like in Claude, extensive thinking um, so that it can um, turn on ext uh, extensive thinking when building these lists. So it, as you can see, it's thinking. And so then it went ahead and did its thing, created the to-dos for each of the pages. And then what you have to do at the end is explicitly tell it to put the to-dos in your project directory. So if you exit Claude code or whatever, you know, it will do that. So um, the other thing is, is that if you go to Anthropic and um, in order to add the MCP servers, uh, I added it. I, I, what I did is I first did it from Claude Desktop. So I then I went in in my regular terminal. Um, I did an MCP, um, uh, Claude MCP add, add from Claude Desktop. Um, and what that does is that will, um, if I come right here, let me show you what it does. So, um, Claude MCP add from Claude desktop. And so what that'll do is it will open up a... Um, did I write that right? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Uh, hold on. Exit. Uh, I typed it wrong. Let me get out of here. Slash exit. Yeah. Let me get out of here. I don't want it to do anything. <laughs> so, um, so um, let me do up and then um, so boom. So now it'll open up a prompt window. So this is you don't open it in when you're signed in. So I don't use the file. I use the file system server on my cloud desktop, but not not of course not on cloud code because it already has those commands. So so the framework, the frame link MCP already exists. So I can just get out of that. And, but you can just go ahead and add it by pushing the space bar and doing what you need to do. And then once you have it in there, 
um, you can go slash MCP and then you can see it connected. So now what I want to do is I want to say, okay, now do the same thing as above for the history page and make sure you generate to do files for that. So now um, here is the URL for the desktop. So desktop, and I, I get specific so that it knows that, hey, this is responsive. So boom. So now let me go over here, go back to Figma and get the tablet view. Tablet view. So boom, it say tablet. And then I want to get the mobile view. So copy link the page. Dash mobile. All right. So Fingers crossed. I don't need my fingers crossed because it's going to do it anyways. So then you go ahead and let it do its thing. And I'm probably going to have to compact this because it's been doing a few of them. So boom. So boom. It did the first one, second one. And then it, oh, it did all three. Man, it's fast. So now it's going to generate the to-do list. So here we go real quick and this just allows you to organize and vibe code with a structured approach and if you're on a team you can put it in um, your jira or whatever project management system in and your tickets and all that so this is the way that you know i'm starting to vibe code with my team so as you can see it's writing the history page to do's.md so if i come over here um it hasn't written it yet so but it's going to write it, write it. So it's writing it now. Um, still waiting, still waiting. Okay, so not yet. Boom. So dude, there it is. There it is. Boom. It just popped up. So, and then it's going to finish it up. And then I'm going to move on to the next one, into the next one. And then once I start really, you know, tackling my to-dos, then I'm good. You know, so... These are all my to-dos. So for the history page. And there is one other thing that I am going to tell you to do. Um, I would create um, some commands, some, some custom commands. I have a process to do that every time I open up Claude Code, I want it to go through and look at all my to-dos and, and prioritize it. And then um, what I do after that is once it completes one set of to do's like the landing page, or whatever, I go ahead and commit that. So I have a git a git command um, thing, even though I have git and GitHub and all that uh, thing, I want it to go ahead and do that. And it'll update the documentation, update the change log and all that. And then what I'll do is then it will then I'll run the update to do so that it can go ahead and continue with the um, then the um, next to do's. And then I'll do the good get command and then I'll do the update to do update to do's and the get commands and then update to do's. And that just really keeps it structured. Um, and then, you know, I'm really getting into this vibe coding thing. So now as you can see, it finished everything. It gives you, and I don't have to worry about reading all this because this is already in the to do the to in the to do um, page because it just doesn't include these. It gives you a comprehensive like boom, like here it is. So let me show you. So it gives you everything that it had right there, but then it gives you a comprehensive everything that it, you saw in the in the file so it's just not the to do's if i show you as a boom so it really tackles everything and goes through everything and this always just gives you a reference to what uh what you're doing and it, and it doesn't and this allows you to not allow 
the AI agent in Cloud Code or any other agent just to go wild. So um, that's what I love about Cloud Code. And um, I'm going to be doing more mid videos. But yeah, the MCP server works, as you can see. Um, you know, just don't give up. Um, I know some people of uh, MCPs right now can be a little bit wonky, but they do work. So, all right.